Hey everyone, we are going to revisit the Z-Test, but in this case, we're going to be talking about Z-Test for proportions. So let's get started. Remember that when you develop confidence intervals for averages or proportions, the only difference is the calculation of the standard deviation. Now the same idea actually applies to z-tests as well. For proportions, everything's the same, except the standard deviation. And that's it. We're done here. We already know how to do z-tests. And if the only difference is you got to change the formula for how you compute the standard deviation, then, well, that's the only difference. So just do a z-test and change how you calculate the standard deviation. And we're done here. Bye. You just watched a video from Amore Learning. We provide free math videos and we offer many online courses. We also provide free math tutoring via YouTube Live every Thursday and Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video to get access to all of our free content. And put a comment in the comment section if you have any math questions. Check out all of our courses on amorelearning.org.